Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture series on dynamical systems. So over the videos that are going to follow this, we are going to go through the theory of dynamical systems. And what that will mean is we are going to look at primarily ordinary differential equations and how to interpret them, but from a geometric perspective. So we aren't going to necessarily look at things like what is the exact solution to a differential equation, but we're going to look at qualitative properties of differential equations. That is, what, how do solutions evolve in phase space? Where do they go? Where do they come from? What are the macroscopic structures that we should be looking at inside of these systems? Now, we are going to progress through this lecture series starting with relatively simple systems in one dimension then moving up to systems in two dimension, and then continuing on to three and higher dimensions where we start to encounter chaos. Once we start encountering chaos, then we'll look at ways that we can interpret these systems through discrete time iterative processes. So that means that we are going to go through a lot of different material in here. We're going to look at things like bifurcations. We're going to look at periodic and quasi-periodic systems. We're going to look at physical applications as we go through all of this lecture series. Things like the pendulum system, problems coming from chemical reactions, physics and engineering. You know, all of this to sort of unite and motivate what we're going to talk about. Now. We will primarily be fo following one of the greatest textbooks that's ever been written, and that is uh, this book by Stephen Strogatz. So if you find yourself around a bunch of dynamical systems experts, and you ask them why they became a dynamical system uh, theorist, I'm willing to bet that a significant percentage of them will say it is because of that textbook. This textbook is extremely famous and it has motivated a lot of people, including myself, to want to go further into dynamical systems. So you can easily follow along with this lecture series uh, through this textbook. But of course, you know, I'm going to put in uh, some extras as well so that we can sort of revamp and make it a little bit more exciting and a little bit uh, different than just reading the textbook itself. Now, what are you going to need going forward in this uh, lecture series? Well, the first thing that you're going to need is basic skills in calculus, right? So differential equations are really sort of an extension of calculus. And so that means that you're going to have to be able to integrate and differentiate functions at will. Okay. So we're going to use a lot of Taylor's theorem through this, a lot of integration. Um, but on top of that, we're going to use a little bit of linear algebra. Uh, we are going to have a little bit of a sort of geometric perspective here. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to have studied a whole lot of topology. But as we go through, uh, you know, having some sort of background in these things might help a little bit. But of course, I will give you what you need as we progress through this. Now, this really should be looked at as part two of my previous lecture series on ordinary differential equations. Now in that previous lecture series, I spent a lot of time talking about existence and uniqueness of solutions, looking at linear differential equations, how to solve them, all of that kind of fun stuff, you know, series solutions, everything involved there. Now, I highly recommend progressing through that lecture series before starting on this one, because that will give you a lot of the fundamentals that we are going to carry through in this dynamical systems course. But like I said, what differentiates dynamical systems as a discipline from just straight differential equations is this unification with geometry, this way of sort of feeling things out by having an understanding of spaces and flows and directions and, uh, and sort of differentials uh, that is maybe not as used as much whenever you first encounter differential equations, okay? So again, not going to focus as much on specific solutions, but more on the sort of macroscopic properties. Now this is going to be a ton of fun. Dynamical systems is my absolute favorite discipline in all of mathematics. It is what I specialize in and I am very excited for you to join me on this lecture series. So I'll see you in the next video.